Hi everyone. So it is the day before Thanksgiving and I am in the kitchen stirring a great pot of gumbo. And as I'm standing here stirring, something crossed my heart that I just had to share with you. And if you're like me, well, first of all, let me just say this. It's the day before Thanksgiving. I hope either A, your meal is done or you're in the kitchen like me. If you're in the grocery store, girl, I'm telling you, you, you are behind the eight ball. But anyway, it's all good. While I'm stirring at this pot, I'm thinking about all of the holidays when I've kind of focused on the wrong thing. My house had to be clean from top to bottom. Everything had to be flawless. The meal had to be great. And I'm not saying the emphasis shouldn't be there if you're hosting, but that's not the only place your emphasis should be. And so this year, I want you to especially enjoy your company, whether you're hosting or visiting, you're sitting next to the person, be present and available for them. Don't just listen with one ear and have one eye in the kitchen trying to deal with the pot or something. That has been my holiday every year. It's like the classic story of uh, what we know in the Bible with Mary and Martha. Martha was frantic getting everything perfect for Jesus coming to dinner, but Mary spent the time with him. So today I want to encourage you. Here is something I want to put on your heart. We put so much focus for Thanksgiving on stirring what's in our pot. I want to challenge you to stir something up in an individual or person, family member, friend who you will be with tomorrow. What can you, what seeds of inspiration can you plant in them and to stir up in them so that when they leave you, they leave on a high, they leave more optimistic, they leave feeling better than they did when they sat down next to you. That is the point of tomorrow, not the perfection of everything. So love you guys. Want you to have a beautiful and safe holiday and tune in next week. Bye-bye.